In this video, I'll show you a technique that I've developed for making pinched handles. Putting a handle on a mug is one of the last things that you'll do. Once the mug has been decorated, and you're ready to add a handle. You'll use a small amount of clay. In this case, I've figured out exactly how much clay I need for this size of a mug. So I can make many of them that are all the same size. I'll weigh each piece of clay. You want to use clay that's pretty soft. You're going to create a lug of clay, which is a coil about as big around as your thumb. And here I'm compressing the ends of the lug. Those ends are the connection points to your mug. It will be really important that they are a nice rounded shape. Now to create the handle, you're going to do two pinches. Here you can see that I'm using both hands and pinching the coil all the way up and down to create the shape. The first pinch is a diamond pinch where I'm pinching down and in with both hands. For the second pinch, I'm going to hold with my thumb and forefinger and support, pinching the sides. And then my other hand, we're going to use my thumb and forefinger to compress the spine that was created by the first diamond pinch. And then I'll just repeat those two pinches, alternating back and forth until I have the desired shape. As I'm pinching, I'm being careful not to pinch the ends of the lug. I want to retain those nice rounded shapes so I have a good connection point. I'm also making sure that I hold the lug in the same orientation the whole time. Gravity will make the lug curve and we are wanting a curve in our handle anyway. So this natural curve of gravity will help create a nice shape for your handle. Once you've pinched the clay enough to where you have a good thickness, then you're ready to put the handle on the mug and further shape it. By pressing the attachment points down against the mug, they will conform to the rounded shape and be a perfect fit. Use the mug to shape the handle. Place the handle on the mug and use your thumb to push up on the inside of the top to create a nice space for your hand to rest. Ensure that you like the shape and that the handle is in the exact location that you want it. Once you have it in that exact location, you'll grab your needle tool and you'll carefully trace around the handle onto the mug. This is going to be where you'll score and slip. Carefully place the handle to the side and score really well within the lines that you've drawn. You'll add some moisture and score again, creating a nice tacky slip for the handle to attach. You'll do the same to the attachment points on the handle. It's really important that you slip and score really well so you get a nice strong attachment. Once you're all slipped and scored, carefully place the handle back on the mug and compress the connection points. You can further shape the handle at this point, making sure that it's just the right shape. It's gonna look really good. Once you're satisfied with the shape of your handle and you've made sure that the connection points are compressed together really well, you can set your mug aside and lightly cover it with plastic so it can dry slowly. When your handle has sat for a while and it's leather hard, you'll wanna come back and compress and clean up the seams. You always wanna let a handle dry nice and slow so it doesn't shrink too fast and crack off of the mug. 